guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting very to episodes 25 and 26 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 25 and 3, 2, 1, go. Today has not been my day. Let's just say that right now. This week has been. Oh! <laughs> I am so tired and I don't want to do anything and I, I was debating whether to do my Patreon shows today and I was like fuck it I gotta get it done seriously cuz I was trying to hang up like my anime merch that didn't work out. No. I got the wrong Pritcher frame. I need like a bullet to board frame. Yeah, but really, honestly, think about it. He's like, what, in his 40s, maybe 50s? Probably maybe more 40s. Mm. Huh? Mm. Oh! <laughs> oh, damn. Well, even the freaking TV, too? Like, Jesus! Damn. And it's just gonna spread. Yup. Just like the pandemic. Mm-hmm. 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 I hate to compare it to that, but like, you know, ever since we've started this arc and the way it's gone, I'm like, yeah, every single week I'm like, hmm, how more pandemic y are we getting into this? I was like, oh god. Real world experience in anime, you know, you gotta love when that happens. Because the last time where I've got something that was like, <laughs> like the real world experience, um, was the one episode of uh, Kaguya sama Love is War where, um, Shirogane and uh, <laughs> Chika were walking. And there was like social distancing, and I was like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> I was like, oh, all the things. I, I do like it when, you know, anime references like real world things. I know a lot of people don't really like that because, and, and people say that with video games as well, because when you're playing a video game and when you're watching an anime, you know, that's a break from like real world issues and everything. But it's still interesting, and it just tells you how, like, woke certain animes and games and TV shows are because it is important to talk about issues of today and that it needs to be talked about. So, yeah. <laughs> Even though this show came out, what? <laughs> and you look at it but like, oh shit, pandemic, oh fuck. <laughs> I can't. Not your phone? Mm. Hey, Mido. <laughs> You're adding season. I mean, in my oh, my God, Benny. <laughs> Mm 
Well, it's a good thing those two were on their way. I mean, they probably weren't that far, but yeah. Mm, nice to meet you. You kind of give me, like, um, beat vibes? Definitely. Except you ain't got no skateboard, but, you know. <laughs> probably a big old a-hole, but you love him so much. <laughs> Uh-huh, and you are? Hmm? And she is? Oh. She kind of gives me like Android vibes. Yeah, definitely like Andrew vibes. Not not like psh, best girl to be, but <laughs> yeah, maybe a little eighteen best girl. But yeah, could Cordelia? That's how you say her name, Cordelia. Not Cornelia. Seems badass. See, but it also makes you wonder that during this situation, you see that that's the only point um, <clears throat> in the whole entire area that has, like, blue skies and everything. So, like, let's say someone, like, hunkers down in their basement at their house. Would they be okay? I mean, I don't think so. Right. Oh. <laughs> she cute though. It's like, ah, stop it, child. Mm. Look how pretty she is, oh my god. 
she's not thinking about going over there by herself right i mean that's a little stupid and reckless like even if you are a part of the 12 guardians and you op as fuck at the same time no no you don't do that That's the undoing. I'm an undoing. End game. Y'all about to die. Like, mmm. She seems like very, almost like a silent female protagonist. Even though Cordelia speaks at times. But still. Yep, the the dragon. Yeah. Mm hmm It's cold in here now. You gotta love his laugh, though. <laughs> oh. Well, see, now I'm getting, like, feels to every freaking Mecha-type series that I've seen. Or even Estes as Gridman. Mm. Nice punch, though. I gotta say, I mean, like, the CGI for this episode, it's not that bad. I think it... It shows for whatever time this came out, because, I mean, you could, it, it's definitely there, but the next thing you know, when you look at something from, like, this year, or even last year, like that one series, um, I cannot remember the name for the death of me, and I think that recently just came out. That CGI was bad! <laughs> like, oh my god. How, how are you gonna have, like, CGI with, like, 2D, um, characters? <laughs> Which is weird. I was like, okay. Mm. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? That's really not fair. Like, he he's cheating. Mm -hmm. So you need to destroy the dragon spot, like ASAP. 
Because if you don't do anything, Cordelia is not gonna last long. Oh, silly. Nope, because here comes Sai to say something very in inspirational. I'm like, no, you guys got this. But it's their job. I mean, it's smart, yeah. Once again, baby side. Ah. She's not going to last. But you know, y'all got this. It's fine. Oh. I mean, what he did, honestly, was a noble sacrifice, but I was like, oh, like, maybe, you know, what is it, Kenny was just going to drive up and be like, hey!
But damn. this fucker would be over here. <sighs> you did good, boo. Thank goodness. funny that like even with the last few episodes that started this arc Sai always touches somebody and like oh it's so fucking cute like I can't oh my god she's just like the best child ever like you would want your own damn kids to be like that yeah, like, you know what yeah how many other dragon spots do we have left I mean they've been gone for now Four episodes, I believe. We better go on five with the next one. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she is cute. <laughs> so fucking precious. Like, oh my god. I'm gonna die because of her cuteness. Like, I love cute anime characters, and whether it's a, a little boy or a little girl, they're just so fucking cute and so precious, and they're like, oh my god, like, oh, you want to have a cloak look so fucking bad. But, like, okay. Cordelia? No. Cordelia? Cordelia? Cordelia. Delia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like her a lot. She might have to be, like, best girl of the 12 Guardians. I mean, yes, yeah, she gives me, like I said, the Android vibes and shit like that. I mean, I love the way how she'll spell the word and then say the word in English. It's so adorable. <laughs> I mean, it kind of reminds me of, um, oh my god, what's that thing? Oh, I used to have one of them when I was a kid. There, uh, and I've seen them in Toy Story. It's that, like, one thingamajiggy type toy where it's, like, a whole bunch of letters and everything and you can spell everything out. Then it spells it and says the word. Oh, my God. I used to love that thing. <laughs> so much. It was so fucking cool. But that, you know, cool when I was, you know, your baby. <laughs> kid but yeah i mean like seriously every encounter that you know these three have had with someone there's always a moment where precious girl sigh has touched the feelings of someone and been like oh well this is what it's like or that's what it's like and i really love that because it shows especially like last week's episode last week episode still fucking hurts after watching episode 24, I was like, oh, okay, we're gonna, just, this is gonna be an episode about us and a fucking lion. And then learning, you know, he just wanted to see, um, freaking light and everything, and he wanted to see it with Sai, and in the end, he wasn't able to because he got exercise and stuff. And, uh, that, you know, like, that shit hurt. Like, oh my god, that, that shit rocked my core. I was like, damn. I did I, like I never would have thought that like in this arc this would have got sad or even this show would get sad. There there's been a lot of sad sad moments, but not like sad moments where I have broken down and cried. <laughs> and such um because like I, I feel like some most of the shows that I've been watching now whether it's through Patreons or it's just shows that I've watched ever since 2016. There's always that one show. Any of the reactions that I've done from fall 20 yeah, 
fall 2016 up until we are now in spring 2021. Um, there's always a couple of animes that have made me cry. And those, usually those animes are ones that are my favorite. This has not really, I mean, I think it's get, gotten me to like the verge of tears, especially with the, um, situation on Benio and her, you know, not her brother anymore. And the connection between Benio Rokuro and Yuto and shit like that. That made me cry a little bit or tear up. And then the situation with the with uh Rokuro and Yuto's like former quote unquote friends and what happened to them and then also um oh my god uh is it Rojo? Rio? I think it's Rio I believe. Um him and the girl he's dating their friend dying like that was fucked up I was like oh my god like damn he was just alive at the beginning of this episode y'all like fuck it we're killing him but, I mean, I feel like there's going to be, and because we're officially now possibly on the second half of this show, um, because since this is episode 25, we have 25 more episodes to go before I'm currently done with the series and everything, I feel like there is going to be a lot of, like, tear-jerky moments towards the end of this series, preferably maybe episodes 40 to the finale episode, maybe. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me on that. But I, I think, like, with the way we're going, and then I think, like, the biggest sad thing is going to be is when Sai ultimately has to leave us. That's probably going to make me cry. Because if someone who ends up crying at, like, little kids or gets attached to a character and then they die, <laughs> Akudama Drive in a fucking nutshell, if you haven't seen that show, or even, you know, Danganronpa or any other type of series where it's like, oh, hey, here's a, bunch, a whole bunch of kids and they got to kill each other. And it's like, oh, God, I can't get attracted to anybody because, like, fuck, they're going to probably die. <laughs> but it, it, it sucks, especially when, you know, when Psy leaves and who knows when the hell that's coming. And thank God it ain't next week because, whoa, God, I can't imagine the day this child, like, ends up leaving these two because... That's going to be the most heartbreaking like thing. I mean, it, it'll probably remind me of like every season of Pretty Cure where the mascots or the mascots and then whoever else they've gotten, you know, a connection with has to leave them. That's the most heartbreaking thing ever because it's like, oh my God, like they're never going to see each other again. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 26. Okay, episode 26 in three, two one go oh my god i feel like i'm gonna like i'm crying over something stupid uh that arm sleepy hmm? oh momochi and chidua wait Okay, hold on. It, it's Momo Kirito because that sounds like him, and, and it, I, I don't know who you are, but you sound familiar too. I mean, seriously, Momo and Chi, y'all yeah, do sound familiar. Definitely probably gonna look that up. Because one of them definitely sounds like a female in a way. Yeah, the one on the left kind of like almost sounds like Shota Aoi. I know, the one in black sh sounds like Shota Aoi. And then, of course, that's, that's Kirito. I know that damn boy. It's like, Jesus. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're looking that up once we finish this one before I watch Pretty Cure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because it, like, literally, you could tell that, you know, Momo, that, that's Kirito in a nutshell. Like, psh, come on now. As someone who watched <laughs> SAO3 up until now, strictly in Japanese, and watched season one strictly in English just here, and I was like, oh, yeah, 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 dub nice. Dub's nice, and then I was like, let me go to watch it in Japanese, and then I was like, oh, okay, I was like, never mind, I was like, oof. <laughs> Even though I'm that one, t- I'm, I'm one of many who likes both sub and dub, because to me it doesn't matter, because I'm like, yeah, I, I think it's both interesting. I mean, oh god, do we really want to have a conversation about that, because, uh, god, uh, because, mm, a lot of people like to argue over the fact that a lot of people don't want to read while watching. My mother is one of them because, like, I think one anime I wanted to get her into has no dub. And, you know, even in 2021, a lot there are a lot of shows that don't have dubs. And then you have ones that are currently airing and still don't have dubs. So I'm like, do I wait? Or do I say, fuck it? Like, nah, you gonna sit here, you gonna read. Like, mm. I was like, it goes too fast. Like, ah, we gotta pause every fucking minute. I'm like, oh, like you gotta watch it in the moment. Uh, <laughs> that's why we can only watch Death Note and Dub. But I still like the Death Note Dub. Oh my god, baby. She is, and I still feel like she's the fucking connection to all these spots that are around, you know. <sighs> Exactly. Oh, hoggy man. You gotta love how the two kids are just taking care of a kid, and you know they're probably falling in love more and more. But like, mm, we're gonna have kids by the end of this. <laughs> Your voice is familiar too. Yours kind of as well. What is with all these damn hot guys in the show? Like, oh my god, seriously. I don't need anybody else in my harm, but you know, yeah, you can come if you want to. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, you are. <laughs> oh. Poor baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I know, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, children. <laughs> oh god, we're going off road again. Mm. <laughs> Thank god he didn't turn into a car that flies like oh oh shit, never mind. No fly. <laughs> I know, they're kind of like the Hitachi twins, right? I mean, mmm. They're both. Oh my god, yeah. Mm hmm. Pray. Mm hmm. You just gotta love the fact that she fights more with her legs. She just reminds me of like fucking Deku and Deku was like, Oh my god, I can finally kick! Oh like fuck, I should kick and be like, Deku, I love you. You precious baby boy. <laughs> I mean but honestly it just works up for Benio. Mm. Oh, You're just gonna straight up. Oh, okay, never mind. Now you're just gonna run towards them. I thought that. Oh, yeah, they are! I mean, you know, honestly, they write though. Something tells me Sue has, like, power that we don't even know of yet. I mean, because, like, other villains of the week have talked about it, but... Oh, shit. Sue! Oh. I told you. Oh. No, I'm sorry. I don't know 
Because, like I said, it's already weird that both her and the Dragon Spots have come at the same time. So, of course, she's going to play importance to it. And she has to be, like, some weird connection towards it. But we just don't know what it is. And so, oh, fuck. So where's the dragon spot? Real good, I'll stop being an ass for five minutes, please. Damn. This is just the word pride in a nutshell, and they don't want someone to come in and step on their territory or their prey. See, in a weird way, this kind of also reminds me of that one, like, <laughs> these episodes of, um, of Demon Slayer in the nutshell when they had to go against the spider family. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, but I think they wanted you to do that, though. Say. Oh, it was just a distraction. Goddamn, came down like a fucking missile. Uh-oh. <gasps> Mm. 
Oh, that's fucked up. What the what the fuck is Kanana she's you know reason of wanting to do what he's probably doing now? So you just want them to leave like nothing else happened now? But wait Seriously? Thank God you're okay. Yeah. Bro, you should be dead. Oh! <gasps> well, see, now you really dead. He's gonna die too. No, oh, don't worry. Yeah. I mean, there, there's something fucking special about her, but who knows what the fuck it is? Can't, yeah, please, little child, pl explain that. You don't even know yourself, do you? Mm -hmm, of course. Oh, where you pointed at last week? Is your family in Kyoto? It's where you were born. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, you, child, child. Something about her ain't right. And, and not in a bad way, more in a good way. Because... The fact that she has powers, one, I'm okay with. Two, but there there still has to be a connection between her and the dragon spots. Was not expecting um Momochi to die and uh Chiwa to get absorbed with his powers and everything. I honestly thought the person in the mask would have killed both of them and he would have been like, Fine, I'm gonna do this shit myself and such. So did he just kill like Kirito, or is because uh, I'm already getting confused. Is Kirito the one in? Yeah, Kirito is the no, no, no. Kirito is the was the one in white. 
Kirito is dead, guys. Mm, Sora Online is over. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to be a little jokey right now. But, um, of course, that twin, he's gonna come back for vengeance. Because, of course, um, our other big bad is a manipulator. And, of course, manipulated his mind and said, oh no, the twin star actually just did this. Okay. But he gave me a little bit of power and stuff. Now you got your leg back. And this is that other, but then, you know, the next time that they're going to see each other, he's going to die no matter what. Like, psh, that's it. But Sai, uh, in her feeling that she has to go to Kyoto, I mean, I hope it's good. It has to be the place where she was born or something because what else is it going to lead to? That's the big question. I think it's interesting that she is also getting like a little more development in the second half of the series because I was always thinking that Maida was never going to be, she was going to be the one-off characters or like just one of them side characters who's just there. But after her episode of her turning into a demon and it's like that and the fact that she's like, you know what, yeah, I'm going to take this situation. I almost died and such. But now I'm reborn and I'm about to be this badass motherfucker and I love that because she is like one of my personal favorite characters characters of this series besides Benio. I mean, because I, I like the here's the difference, because if you like look at me and if I could say like which one I'm probably most like, it is Maida. Um, where I, I'm a little like I, I'm that type of chick who I am not street smart, I am book smart. Um so if we were in like <laughs> a situation or let's say for an example if we were in an escape room I probably would be little to no help because mm, maybe it depends on like the situation of a book room or I mean escape room that we're in but because I am book smart rather than street smart it is a little harder for me to get in situations and stuff I'm not that type of person who likes to get into fights and everything um not to say that that's like beneath me or something like that. I think it's just, you know, the way um, I've been grown and stuff. And I have been told right from wrong and everything. And this is that and the third. Um, but because of society and what my um, my race is, even as a black woman myself, um, society has placed on me that I am loud, obnoxious. I am pretty much going to be a, a type of person who is always going to fight with their fists. I don't like to fight with my fists. I like to fight with my words. So I like more arguments rather than fist fights. And so I try even till now every single day to be not not to be honestly that stereotype because I hate the stereotype that I have that society has placed on me as a black woman. But it, it's just so fucking annoying. But yes, I, going back to Maida and not me. I'm happy she's getting this because she really needs this. She's one of those characters that I was like, in the beginning, I was like, damn, we were probably not going to ever see her again. She's going to be like one off or a couple of times. And then, you know, when it's like plot references and plot conveniences, like, oh yeah, bring her back and such. Because I do like the fact is that she's getting something rather than nothing. Because I think after the situation, what happened to her, she's just like, yeah, I need to be a little more stronger and I need to do this to send a third. But yeah, both episodes were good. I'm wondering what the fuck is going to be in Kyoto when we get there. I'm guessing we're not going to get there when we get to the next two episodes. But when we do find out about that situation, that connection with Sai, whatever it is, I hope it's good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 25 and 26 of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 27 and 28. Bye, guys.